Hello, my name is Jan Thielemann and in this video I want to talk about how you can add users uh, who are able to log into the system. So if you install a new system, uh, you normally have four users, which is the super user, the system user, the garden admin and the garden user user. So if you want to uh, modify the system, you normally use the super user because the system is user, the system user is uh, used by the system as the name already says. So um, normally you use the super user to um, configure your system. But what if you want um, or if you created your own client and now you need more users than your client admin user and your client user user. Um, these two get created by default when a client is created and uh, you probably want uh, each of your employees to have an account so they can log into item pierre and how do you do this um, first you um, select the client you want to add the users and log in open the user window and here i already created a user so what you do normally is you create a new entry enter the name um, you can enter the search key or let it um, empty and the search key will get created automatically. And yeah, then after you save the entry, um, you have to set a password because otherwise um, the user cannot log in. So here I already created a user called Jan with a password called Jan. And then you need one additional step. You have to define um, the roles to which the user belongs. and um, yeah, roles is the topic of another video, so um, check this out if you want to learn more about roles. Um, but every user needs at least one uh, role. So here I um, clear the field and hit refresh. And uh, now you see the different um, roles we have on the garden world client. Um, yeah, this is my system and I played a little bit around with it. So here I have a Jan role. Um, this is normally not available, but uh, I could choose between garden admin, garden user and web service execution role. But uh, I recommend you to use um, either the admin or the user role or define your own custom roles. So here in this example, I use the garden user role and save it. And we can take a look at this role and uh, see what we can do. So here you see we have different organizations we can access. Um, our user is assigned to this role. Um, so you can assign your users uh, to roles in the role window too. So then um, yeah, you can save some time if you first create all the users and then assign all the users to roles in the role window. Um, you define which windows um, can be opened, which processes can be started and so on. So we assigned our user, we created a new user, assigned him to the user role. And now let's see if we can log in. Let me choose this. And as you see, normally, um, or if you use the super user, you can select the client you want to use. And the reason you can do this with the super user is that the super user is created on the system client and is uh, in the system administrator role as well as in the garden world and the, uh, in the garden admin and the garden user role um, from the garden world client. So if you um, have multiple clients and you want users to be able to access all these clients, then you have to create them on the system client and not on the um, client which you normally use. So here you see the different um, organizations and we saw that there were four organizations in the role. So the fourth organization was a summary organization and you can't use it to log in to the system, obviously. So I can log in. Let's see if I can open some windows and do some stuff. Let's create a sales order. Yeah, it seems to work. So 
that's how easy it is to um, create users and add them to your system so that they can log in and yeah do some stuff so i hope this video helps and i see you in the next video